I recently received an order I met from China a few weeks ago and this is the unignited Bluetooth digital multimeter. This Bluetooth multimeter had been in the market for a while and this is the image I saw on AliExpress. Obviously, one will be treated by the interface which it has for the phone which might also serve as an oscilloscope. I'm not so sure about this but let's check this out on the review as we confirm all of these features. Firstly, I love the physical look as it has an external stand. The probe looks solid coupled with other ones used for the measurement for temperature. I have already created an account with them on the mobile app which you can easily do by simply downloading the application on Google Play Store. Go through the prompt and put in your basic information. As I own the system, I set the system ready for Bluetooth connection. Prior to this, I've taken time to study the manual and how to set the system. I will fully recommend you do so as it is a good practice while you are using a new product. The first test is to check the frequency measurement. I love the device due to the fact that you don't need to connect the probe directly to the supply as the system measures the frequency so close to it and for me, I'm running on a grid supply of 50Hz frequency. The frequency and the duty cycle display on the digital multimeter corresponds to the value of my mini oscilloscope and I must say this is amazing. I figured out that the system doesn't actually show the actual graph per interval, rather it casts the maximum range or the minimum range of the measured value. So take note of that if you are considering buying this product for oscilloscope use. Next is to measure other parameters such as the voltage value. Obviously, the accuracy is cool. On that note, let's read the resistance. This is 1 mega ohm resistor. When I measured it on the device, the system accurately measured the value with some degree of tolerance and that is a great result. Next, I try to measure capacitance value and leaving the rotary knob at the same point, the meter measures it as a resistance. I guess I didn't preset it right, I will still go back to the manual for confirmation. Now, I connected the system on auto mode to read the output voltage of my power supply. The result is also accurate even though we can spot some basic difference of 0.2 volts. Next is the measurement of temperature. Connecting the probe according to the manual, I read the temperature by placing my soldering iron close to the sensor. As you can see, we got some result as the temperature was rising. Now, I compared my result to an already existing system. I use my DIY temperature and time project to compare and measure the temperature values. The measurement values were accurate and that was also amazing. If you would want to see how I made the DIY project, then you will have to subscribe to our channel to get notification once we publish the video soon. Generally, I would say the device worth it as I got it at the cost of $30, though what captured me to get it which is the seemingly oscilloscope feature wasn't actually there. I do believe this review answered some of your questions and cleared some doubt. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as we present some cool projects that we will be building using this multimeter.